Hey guys, Flo here with another episode of the Napoli career mode series. We have that second leg to play against Anderlecht, another game in the Serie A. And we'll finish up with the second leg of the Italian Cup semi-final, so important episode. We had a great game in Belgium, teams finished as a draw, but this is what it all comes down to. San Paolo is the pitch, fine weather, let the game begin. First 20 minutes the match stayed more in the middle of the pitch, but the first breakdown from the Belgian side and Anderlecht were given a penalty. No doubt about it, Tashi with a reckless tackle and it was Mbokane to convert it from the 12 yard spot. It was a dreamy start for the Belgian side, but dreams transformed into nightmares right after that and the Nightmare is named Cavani. First up with a great volley from inside the box after a good pass from Hamsik and second after a corner kick, a fast comeback from Napoli. But the Uruguayan wasn't done there. He completed his hat-trick right before half-time. After the same route, Hamsik with a pass and Cavani offering Napoli comfortable lead. Second half started with an underleg chance. The ball bounced back to Bildia, but he is denied by a fantastic save from Costa. This is how good was about to get for Anderlecht, Napoli coming close again from Maestro's shot, 75 minutes in and from that corner kick Cavani rise for another header to score his fourth goal of the match, he is just unbelievable. The Uruguayan coming close to score his fifth but was denied by Proto, Anderlecht came close to score their second goal of the game but Suarez Shot was saved by Costil and it was Napoli who was going through to the next round after that goalless draw in Brussels. Napoli win this home game, it finished 4-1. Outstanding performance and let me praise Cavani for his 4 goals. He's been absolutely fantastic for me this season, hope he keeps it up. Here we are in the Italian Serie A, Napoli were positioned in the first spot and were facing Udinese. Of course Napoli were returning after qualifying in the last 16 of the Europa League but they realized it wasn't going to be easy right at the start of the game in the third minute. Came very close to score, Napoli leveled that chance 5 minutes later, a mistake by the Udinese defender but a great effort from Pandev was denied by a great save. El Kaduri came in close to scoring off a volley and right after that Muriel missing a 1 on 1 chance with the goalkeeper. Udinese were pushing forward, 25 minutes in, a great build-up play, Fabrini passes it to Marcusel and he puts it in the left bottom corner and Udinese were in front, they put themselves in front, this was the score at the half time. Right after the break Muriel escapes again, one on one with the goalkeeper and he doesn't miss this one, 2-0 for Udinese and Napoli manager has to change something if they don't want to lose this one. Napoli was giving signs of being alive, chance created but saved by Bianconetti's goalkeeper. It remains Udinese not for long, outstanding play here from Udinese, Muriel passes the ball to Barreto, 1-2 with Di Natale, gets the ball again, a perfect cross and Faraoni to make it 3-0, humiliating for Napoli. There were at least 7 or 8 consecutive passes there, Napoli all over the place and we witnessed one of the most beautiful goals of the season. Napoli came close to pull one back but Zuniga's shot came right at the goalkeeper and inland strike was well wide. Napoli with another Zuniga chance after a decent volley again denied by the goalkeeper. The ball goes back to the Napolitans, ball played in front, gets to Zuniga who will eventually score, third chance of Zuniga was converted and Napoli has 15 minutes to get at least 2 goals. Insigne with a great personal effort here but he puts too much power in the shot, time running pretty fast for Napoli. El Kadri missing another chance and 2 minutes later Pandev pulls another goal back, deflected shot but it was too little too late, Napoli lose this one. I just can't understand how I lose these games, sure Udinese deserve it. Even if we came back with two goals, it's just frustrating to watch a team going from a 4-1 win in the Europa League to losing a championship match and with that manner. Anyway, luckily we have our chance for revenge in this cup semi-final. It's the second leg of this Italian cup semi-final, first leg finished 1-1 at San Paolo. Napoli needed to score, but as they saw in the last game of the Serie A against Udinese, it is not going to be easy. 
the match was poor in chances, most of the game was played in the middle of the pitch, only chance in the first half came from this Behrami shot, good effort, but the goalkeeper matches that with a great save. Second half became more animated, Udinese with a chance, Pascal shooting from inside the box, but Costil will deny that one. Time was running low for Napoli, they came very close in the 90th minute, but Hamshi's block shot agonizingly went off target, Udinese was marching for the final. Last chance for Napoli, Hamshi takes the corner kick and it's a goal, Napoli qualifying for the Italian Cup final, who else, Cavani with a cracking header, they get their revenge, they win this game but most importantly they qualify for the final. It must be so great for the Napoli fans qualifying after that goal in the last moment of the game. What a match, actually the match wasn't that great but those last minutes, man that was satisfying. Anyway, it's Milan who we will be facing in the final, be prepared for that, I'll do my best to win that one. Now let's go to answer some of your questions in the press room. So welcome to the press room, for those of you that don't know this is the place where I answer your questions, football or non-football related. Jumping straight in, I'll only ask one question and it comes from Marco Luic. What do you think about Napoli falling out of the Europe League in real life? Uh, I've got to say I was really surprised and they lost with that manner, losing both games like that. Uh, I bet no one saw that coming. For me, they were one of the favorites to win the competition next to Chelsea and Tottenham. But this is why football is beautiful. You never quite know what will happen next. Look at Ajax for instance. Anyway, ask your questions for the next episode. I only answered one question just so I can upload the episode faster. I'll answer more in the next episode. Like if you enjoyed, trust me it doesn't hurt. Subscribe for more and I'm um, see you next time.